Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Amanda from Focus Kids, and today we're gonna be learning about three key players in our brain, three really important parts of our brain. And you might already know about them, so this might be new information for you, or you might say, I already know all of this, and that'll feel really exciting too. So first of all, do you guys know where your brain is? Can you put your hands on your head? and show me where your brain is. Yeah, so there's lots of stuff that happens in our brain, right? And we could learn a lot about our brain or we could just narrow it down to three important parts of our brain. So our first part of our brain that we're gonna learn about today is our amygdala. Can you guys say that? Amygdala, amygdala, nice job. And do you guys know who represents your amygdala? Oh, that's me, that's me. Hi, guard dog, how are you today? I'm, I'm good, I, I'm kind of nervous because I'm used to seeing kids in a classroom and today they're just watching me on the video. But I'm still really happy to be with you guys today. And so I wanna teach you about my job in your brain. So let's practice my brain name again. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Amygdala. Can you say that? Amygdala. Good job. Oh, let's clap it. Here we go. Amygdala. Oh, good. One more time. Amygdala. Yeah, that's it. So my job in your brain is to keep you safe and to protect you. Do you guys ever feel like you, you might be kind of scared or afraid and you need somebody to protect you? That's me, that's my job in your brain. But sometimes you're already safe and you don't need me. But I might be sending you signals that I wanna be in charge, I wanna take care of you and protect you. And that might come out in being sad or mad or frustrated or scared or alone or embarrassed. And I have a lot of big feelings and a lot of big thoughts and sometimes they can get in the way of me making good choices. So when that happens, when you notice you're starting to feel sad or scared or lonely or afraid, there's some different things you can do to help calm me down and to tell me it's okay, that you're safe and you don't need me. And one of those things you can teach me is taking deep breaths. So when your guard dog is on alert and trying to protect you and keep you safe, but you're already safe. Maybe you're at home with your mom and dad or you're with your friends and you don't need your guard dog. And sometimes guard dog, he wants to just be in charge. So we have to give him signals to help calm him down. So one of those things we can do is to take a deep breath. Let's try it. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good job. Let's do another one. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. So when guard dog is having those big feelings and emotions, and he might be like this, crazy or excited or mad or frustrated, you can just take some deep breaths and that'll help calm him right down. Let's do it again. Take a deep breath in and out. We'll do one more. Deep breath in and out. Do you see how calm guard dog is now? So when guard dog is calm and he's resting, then the next part of our brain that I'm gonna teach you guys about can do its job. So I'm gonna set guard dog down and I'm gonna introduce you to Wise Owl. Can you raise your hand if you've met Wise Owl before, if you recognize Wise Owl? Now, Wise Owl gets kind of shy 
So if we sit really still and we're really quiet, he might decide to come and join us today. Do you see him starting to turn his eyes? There he is. He's taking a look at each one of you. And Wise Owl has a really big brain name. Wise Owl's brain name is Prefrontal Cortex. Can you say that? Prefrontal Cortex. Good job. And if you put your hand on your forehead, this is where your prefrontal cortex is in your brain, right in the front of your brain. Wise Owl, do you want to tell the boys and girls what your job is? Let's turn them all the way around. There you go. My job in your brain is to help you be smart and to help you focus and problem solve and make good choices. And I have a little rhyme to teach you today to help you remember my name. Should we learn it, boys and girls? Okay, here we go. So, pre starts with a P. So we're gonna put our finger up and say P, and then f frontal starts with F. So our second finger is for F. So we have P, F, and then K, cortex starts with C. So we're gonna hold our third finger up for C. So we have a shortened way to say prefrontal cortex by saying P, F, C. Can you do that with me? P, F, C. Good job. Okay, so here's our little rhyme. I'll say it and then you say it. P, F, C. Your turn. Follow me. Your turn. I'll make you smart. Your turn. Good job. We'll do that one more time. We'll do it all together. Here we go. P, F, C. Follow me. I'll make you smart. And I put my hand on my forehead when I say that part, I'll make you smart, to help us remember that our prefrontal cortex, our wise owl, is right here in the front of our brain. So remember, that when guard dog is nice and calm like he is right now, when guard dog is calm, we can practice using our smart part of our brain, which will help us make good choices, help us problem solve and think and do our best learning. Good job, boys and girls. Our third key player in our brain is Miss Elefante. Hi, boys and girls. Hi. Do you remember me? Who remembers me? Who's seen me before? Oh, wow. Some of you remember me. Oh, that makes me so happy. So, do you remember my brain name? My brain name is... Oh, I heard someone say it. Hippocampus. Yay. Let's all say that together. Hippocampus, yay, let's do it again. Hippocampus, yeah, that's my brain name. Oh, I'm so excited that you remembered that name. So, do you remember what my job in your brain is? Hmm, let's think about that. That's right, my job is to remember everything. I remember when you were a baby, I remember even when you were in your mommy's tummy. Can you believe that? I remember all the happy things that happened in your life. And I also remember some of the sad things that happened in your life. But that's okay. So my job in your brain is to hold all your memories. And when you learn something new, like we're learning a lot of new things right now, when you learn something new, 
I hold on to that new learning and make it a memory for you. So I'm really important in your brain. And my good friend is Wise Owl. When Wise Owl and I work together, we help you learn, we help you make good choices, we problem solve, and that's the kind of brain we want to grow, right? Yeah. Now, oh, what's that, Wise Owl? Oh, yeah, we're missing somebody, aren't we? So, when we're doing our job, look who's calm. Your guard dog is nice and calm because we don't need him when we're safe and when we're at school, when we're at home learning. But sometimes, oh, what? Did something happen? Do you need me? Do you need me? Guard dog wakes up and he just wants to help. He wants to be in charge. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. But remember, when we're safe and we're, we're taken care of, we don't need guard dog. And sometimes, oh, he just wants to be in charge. And he takes over our wise owl and our Miss Elefante. And do you think that they can do their job when they have this crazy dog on their head? Nope, they sure can't. So what do we have to do to tell guard dog that we're okay? Can you remember something that we can do? That's right. We can take a deep breath or maybe two or three. Should we try it right now and see what happens to guard dog? Okay, here we go. Take a deep breath in and out. He's still there. Let's do another one. Deep breath in and out. That felt really good. Let's do another one. Deep breath in and out. One more. Oh, that calmed guard dog right down. Now guard dog is resting. He's taking a nap. He knows, oh, you're safe. You don't need me. And Miss Elefante and Wise Owl can do their jobs to help you remember and to help you learn and focus and be smart. So just remember those three key players in your brain. Wise Owl, your prefrontal cortex. And where's your prefrontal cortex? That's right, right here behind your forehead. And Miss Elefante, do you remember what her brain name is? That's right, hippocampus. And then guard dog is the third key player in the brain. We won't wake him up right now. And do you remember what his brain name is? Amygdala, that's right. Nice job learning about the three parts of the brain today, boys and girls. See you next time.